Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar, two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show, and now, here's Betsy and Kay. And we are so glad that you could join us on Rock It Right. I am bubbly Betsy Barnes dropping the hurricane for a little bit, maybe till mm -hmm. the end of the year, yeah. kind of celebrating the end of 2021 a little early, kind of looking ahead and here with Dr. K Solar. And we've been separated for so long. Last week we did a show, this week we're doing a show and hopefully we won't like miss each other as we travel. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> the well, way travel is this day and time. Well, you know, I an airline stuck in another state. I'm just saying. Well, we are going to have to have some time when I tell you about my trip on the 150-year-old schooner Stephen Tabor. You've got travel things, things that you've done in yeah, Nashville. Yeah, I can't tell you about that. any of them. So go, go. Ahead. No, just, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I'm just well, moving children around the country. That's all. Well, you know, and then you get to go there. Yeah, yeah. You move your children, you get to go there. Um, we are so excited that you could be with us because we want to share some really wonderful people and some great programs and some great opportunities throughout Louisiana. In just a moment, we're going to be talking with Steve Whitlow. He's the executive director of Marikee Gateway Transitional Services and Gateway Inc. And he is phenomenal in his passion for people that are on the autism spectrum who are young adults and they need life skills and they need job skills and I've known Steve for a long time and I admire him greatly so I'm glad that he could be on the show and then uh, we're going to talk to him in just a minute and then we're also going to introduce you to Barry Mealy if you've not met Barry Mealy with Mealy Printing in Covington New Orleans Baton Rouge you need to because he's got his finger on the pulse of a lot of things that are going on and he's an excellent businessman and quite inspirational in some of the things that he's been able to accomplish and grow his business. And then we're going to talk a little bit, let's not embarrass you, let's not embarrass you. We're going to be talking about busting out with Breast Cancer Awareness. And this is October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. And so it's so and important. you're going to quiz me, right? I'm going to quiz Kay <laughs> on everything mammography. And so... <laughs> So we're going to have a fun time talking about a tough subject. And then we're going to be having one of our recurring guests, Stick New Church. He is the general manager of Rouge Creole, which is probably in my top five favorite restaurants in Louisiana. He is wonderful. And then the other four are also owned by City Hospitality Group. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to be with us talking about proverbial. I was very excited to be there for the opening night and real men wear pink for proverbial. Their menu, their chef, everything is so cool and so good. And so we'll be talking to him. So he'll be uh, with us shortly. But Steve Whitlow, I got to be there to hear a little bit about the Central Chamber of Commerce choosing your program to bestow their golf outing donation to. And you have not been on the show in too long. And I really wanted you to tell people about what has happened from when you were the Gateway Therapeutic Center on Jure and the great news of what's happened when you partnered with Marikey, which is a national company, and, and what we can do for people that are on the autism spectrum. Well, thank you for having me, first of all. And quick story, Betsy and I have known each other for way back. She yes. actually worked with my son Sam riding horses many, yes. many years ago. So we've been, I've been proud to call you a friend for a long time. Yes. So I appreciate you inviting me up here. But we've had a, a small nonprofit, uh, Gateway Transition Center was started in 2005. We started helping young adults with autism to teach them independent life skills, to help them find a job, help them find a home, just help them to be more, more fulfilled as, as individuals. Um, and we were offered the opportunity of a, a house out in Central to work on as a transition home. And so we partnered up with, a, it, it was it was 
a big task for our little nonprofit. And so we partnered up with a company called Meriki. And Meriki assumed our programs uh, three years ago. And so we've been growing ever since that. Uh, we now have programs in high schools. Uh, it's called Pre-Employment Transition Services. So we're in Central High, Dunham. We're in um, St. Lillian's Academy, St. Michael's. So we're in different places where we're actually helping some of the younger folks to, to grow and achieve. And that's through Louisiana Rehabilitative Services. Uh, we also have Gateway Inc. We have some one-on-one -on -one coaching. And you Gateway INK. INK, yes. Um, it's, it's actually gatewayinc.org. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I actually op operate some programs outside of Louisiana now, too. So, oh, I yeah, didn't know that. <clears throat> we have programs. What good in, News. Pennsylvania and then uh, moving into Delaware as well so uh, we're just excited we get to help more and more people and it's really uh, an excellent way for us to be able to recognize the individual dignity of these folks who don't always get their dignity recognized mm -hmm. and so we're just we're just honored to be able to do that so when we met Sam was about seven or eight yeah and your daughter was taking horseback riding lessons at my horseback riding program and we did some therapeutic riding but really it was meeting Sam that made me want to do more therapeutic horseback riding programs and there's so few of those there's some around the state but there's not a lot in this area and actually north of Florida Boulevard in Baton Rouge there's really not any therapeutic services period for anyone that is on the autism spectrum, also some of those with special needs. And so this really fills in a gap in our community and in our state. Yeah, we're, we're working hard to, to really fill in some of the, well, transition services in themselves are is a gap, right? Because when folks go to school, the schools are mandated to provide them with the services. And so they get what's called an IEP or they get a 504 accommodation. And so the schools kind of have to take care of a lot of their needs. Yeah. Well, when school ends, so do those services. And so you don't always get to connect with all the adult services you need. Sometimes there's lack of funding. Sometimes they're just an, an, just not aware of what they need. And so what we try to do is to, to bridge that gap and to, to overcome some of the hurdles that are available from the family. And what because of our history, we really try to look at it from the family's perspective what is the family going to how do you how do you navigate from this point in your life to that point in your life so that you don't have somebody that's you know lonely or disappointed or frustrated with their a lot of the or bored or bored yeah and so a lot of the behaviors that you see with especially with young adults is out of frustration and a boredom because they they know they can accomplish better there's there's barriers in the way and it's hard to overcome and so things can escalate um, from a behavior standpoint and an emotional standpoint if you don't help them out so some of the things that people don't realize about those that are diagnosed as being on the autism spectrum if they can even get diagnosed properly is it's more often boys than girls and then in the last 20 years the numbers have tripled the number of people whether it's through diagnosis or whether it's the number of people that are now diagnosed on the spectrum what do you do if you don't fit in mainstream school and what do you do if you need more than just speech therapy which is offered in a lot of schools but it's not the whole picture sometimes you need someone to take you by the hand and show you how to wash your clothes or make your bed or fill out a job application so one of the the things that we're guilty of as parents is that when we have children that are struggling at a young age we start to build what I call scaffold around them right so they'll have you know they'll need help with this and so you put in a something in place to make sure that they don't fail at that and so eventually they're in a very comfortable place by the time they get to high school but that ends and so it's just like a, a sapling that you put a uh, you know a pole by that you tie it to and you want the sapling to grow straight but eventually you got to take that pole away or it's going to fall over and so what we try to do is to to identify which one of those pieces they need to to take away so they can become as independent as they possibly can and really and honestly to give the the individuals some of their their dignity back to make their own decisions and to to really achieve what they can achieve because a lot of times our struggles with autism are not intellectual we don't have necessarily a deficit. Some, some do, some don't. Um, but sometimes it's just societal connections, communication. I have a problem that I cannot explain to you so that you can help me. And so that becomes frustrating. You become frustrated with me. And so bridging those gaps, creating those, those uh, methods where we can overcome those obstacles is really what we're all about. So tell us about Gateway Inc. I mean, people can actually 
come and buy the services of Gateway Inc., buy T-shirts and things, and I appreciate you hiring my son for a period of time. Oh, it was so fun. Making T-shirts. He yeah. loved doing it. Yeah, he absolutely it loved it. So what we had, we stumbled upon an idea out of New York, actually, um, where we had a group of families that got together to make a screen print shop. And, and the beauty of a screen print shop is that you have um, – some pretty low skill jobs like folding and tagging and those sorts of things, but you also have some pretty intense skills such as is computer design and and mm -hmm. burning screens and those things. So it was a really good, um, really good stretch of, of of different types of skills that they could learn. Mm -hmm. So um, when Gateway Inc. opened is when I printed my first T-shirt ever. I N K. Uh, I N K. <laughs> uh, Gatewayinc.org. Since we're doing that, um, and um, <clears throat> what we are able to do is to take the lessons that they're learning in the classroom and in their individual lessons we bring it to the shop and so if they're working with communication skills then we'll bring that to the shop so that when they weren't learn when they work with their session then the person in the shop can say okay well let's communicate in the way that you learned so that bit by bit they become more and more comfortable yeah. with the work environment mm -hmm. it's not supposed to be a long-term employment it's supposed to be somewhere that you learn how to have a job and you don't get frustrated and you never want to go to work again it's a safe place to learn how to work and so we've been taking orders from the public uh, since we opened up in in 2015 uh, we can do custom designs and since you probably don't know this yet but we actually recently started a, a program where we have some of our clients design t-shirts um, and so we have some client design shirts as well uh, you can find those at our facebook page or a uh, gateway Inc. i did not know that yeah I didn't, so, we so about if that. we designed a shirt we could have y'all make it right Oh, that's so, awesome. So when you get your next round of Rocket Right t-shirts, yes. right, oh, yeah. that you can hand out to everybody <laughs> yes. that comes on the show, that's right. those can be made at Gateway Inc., and we have some artists that can help you design those, but we also have folks that are in the program uh, that are designing t-shirts, and we do this, we, it's a, a subscription club, so every month we send those out, and we have a few extra that people can just buy if they like the design. Oh, I love that idea. Well, we only have about a minute. And we could talk to you for hours because you do so many cool things. But tell people how they can be involved, how they can help you, help the students, help the, the people in the program, and how to reach you if they want to be involved. Yeah, the best way to reach out to us is an uh, email address, inc, I-N-K, at merikey.org. Um, and, and you can email that address, and we'll, and we'll pick up your request either for a shirt or for services. Um, you can order shirts to help us out. But also, we place folks into employment. So if you own a business and you're interested in, in receiving folks into your business, give us a call. Give us, shoot us an email. Um, we'd love to connect with you because if it, even if we don't have somebody that can place, we know a lot of different charities and organizations within the city. Our goal is not just to help our folks but it's to help everybody in Baton Rouge. Oh that's wonderful. Awesome. Steve Whitlow thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you so much and we're going to be right back with Barry Mealy with Mealy Printing. Stay tuned. There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014, with a full calendar available on the website 24-7, clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser of the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov 
We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Visit one of our 21 state parks all over Louisiana. Let's go to the state park. There are 21 of them, you know. And state parks have biking and hiking, tubing, and we can even ride horses. Or we can go exploring and even swim by a beach. They have cabins, really nice ones, with long fishing piers. Don't forget to tell them about the discounts. Oh yeah, book three nights and we get the fourth night free. Great job. Thanks. Louisiana State Parks, we're ready for your adventure. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. Rocket Right. I am Bubbly Betsy Barnes here with Dr. K. Solar, and we are really excited to have Barry Mealy with Mealy Printing on because Barry's kind of a man about town. He's kind of all over the big cities and small towns of Louisiana, and he is quite funny and a character. And so I just felt like it would be great to have him on the show. All right. Well, and we met through our mutual friend, Mickey Harris. We did. We did. And uh, I will just go ahead and agree with everything that you said. It sounds like a guy who I'd like to meet, or at least yeah. know. But, uh, okay. So Barry do, is do I involved. Do just look at you? Or do I look Both at you the whole time? You play tennis the whole time. I don't look out there. Your head is on a swivel. Right. That's Actually, right. it's turned towards Betsy most of the time because she asks all the No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm comfortable I working not. with both of y'all, but That's I don't me. have to look out there. You can if I'm just you like. A, oh, you can okay. if you like. I'm going to stick with you guys. So, okay. um, you're involved with a family business. That's right. And that business has really grown it has. over the last how many years? Well, it has a great history. So, my, I kind of grew up in it my, through my uncle, my father's brother. Uh, I can recall uh, it was called Molin or Mealy. It was on the South Shore, right off of uh, the causeway. They do the uh, Saints pro um, you know, programs Program. and whatnot. And I can recall that being at 10 years old, my Uncle Mal calling my dad saying, hey, look, we need kids over here. You know, we were feeding the stitcher. So that was my kind of my entry into the printing business or, yes. the, or the awareness of it. Yes. So um, then from there, the company transitions, went through a period, uh, a transition period in the early 80s, and then around the mid 80s, 85 to be exact, uh, my uncle Mal and his son Mallory, who's um, the president of the company and the sole owner of the company right now, as it is, uh, went over to the North Shore, to an, just them two, you know, 1,200 square feet. And it was, I remember going to it. I was in college, and it was small. and. Like, okay, here they are. And uh, now we're 90 employees, you know, between here and Baton Rouge. We are approaching somewhere around, I hope I get this number right, 90,000 square feet of production space. That's, so that's fulfillment crazy. Fulfillment space. We're involved in a lot. Uh, we've really, we pay attention to what we see, you know, what our clients are telling us, but also changes. Even this recent change with COVID and whatnot, that's changed the way. I mean, people want to do work. Our clients are doing everything they can to get back engaged. And they are. Uh, the only thing that's limiting them right now, or a significant thing, is um, 
you know, supply chain's broken. Right. Um, mm-hmm. So that's, that's yes. part of that supply chain. You've got to include labor. Yeah. It is a challenge to get labor, people to work right now. Mm-hmm. And then uh, just the supply chain, uh, whether it be because they can't get people to work at the mills to produce the products or just, you know, I don't understand it all, but I do know items are harder to get. They so are. that's part of the challenge, but we're working through that. And we do a great job of working through that because all of our business, yeah. you know, I'm going to make up a percentage here, uh, 90%. 90-plus percent of our clients are all, we speak to them every week. We do something with them every week. So we not only know what they're doing right now, we know that for the most part what they're doing right now they did last year and the year before. So we can use that history to where we can do the, you know, it's a unique challenge for us right now because our challenge right now is to know what they're going to want to be doing three to six months from now right which we do because long-term relationships and then to start planning for let's just say the raw materials we're going to need the paper we're going to need and um so that's part of the fun part (laughs) that's the calculus in printing so uh uh so we're doing that and um the company is great great leadership we are you know i think right now there's an article and uh 225 or business report about best places to work in, 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 uh, in Baton Rouge. I can assure you that because we've won it in New Orleans, I want, I want to say at least once, but I want to say multiple times. We are, um, we have just under 190 employees. They love working for us. We just acquired a company uh, within the last 24 months, Printing Tech, which was on Sherwood for us. Now, if you drive by on I 10, you'll see our sign. Uh, so we're here now. And, uh, we're a cool company to work for. So are y'all hiring? Are you looking for more people? I mean, we're, uh, yeah, yeah. Because pre-COVID, right it seemed people. like there was yeah. a lot of people that were working. We definitely And I don't know where all the, all the people that were working with. And it's, I don't know where everybody is that it's such a shortage for restaurants well, that's a, and retail and all that. That's well, a di- well, you know where they're at. You know where they're at. But that's a different, that's a different yeah. show. Yeah. You know where they're at. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not going to go there, though, right now. So... If, if people wanted to print or they wanted something produced, run through a list of kind of some of the top things or the things that y'all do. And we just have a couple of minutes, yeah. but I want people to be able to get in touch with you. And if they say, huh, I haven't, I didn't know they were here. And- All right. All right. So we are, uh, we are a relationship printer. We are as big as we are. We are competitive. We are, we are inexpensive. And we price everything based off of the relationship of who we print with. And our big value proposition is that we have a lot of resources and we're cut we are truly customer service driven we're going to get that we're going to take on because we're we're sales driven so the jobs start with me now mind you i've got an incredible team back in baton rouge all right i mean in covington and in baton rouge they get the work done but they know when someone like myself or one of the other seven ones who are around doing something similar to what i do you just get it done. And I, the, the person who leads that is Mallory. Mallory Zion, Mealy. He's a fantastic leader. Uh, employees love working for him. They're inspired by him. Uh, we're God-driven. I mean, that's where we get our leadership from. And um, so we, get, we, we take it in and we get it out and we do it. So we're, where we are efficient, marketing material. We, are, uh, we do a great job with your bifolds, trifolds, identity pieces. Direct mail, we do as much d- direct mail, whether it's commercial, institutional, political, as much as anyone in, on the Gulf Coast. Fulfillment is a big thing for us. So we have a world-class fulfillment center now to where we are, sh- we are Amazon. We have a full-fledged Amazon thing going on because we have clients all over the country. So they are doing via portal. Instead of buying just 100 business cards, they know that their company is going to use 50,000 sure. business cards mm-hmm. this year. So they buy them in bulk. We store them. We ship them. Uh, what about large format? Large format. Thank you for asking. Did you read the brochure that I said? No, you? I did not. My goodness. No. I'll tell you what. I would have been getting so much grief for, hey, Barry, you kind of did an okay job, but you mentioned no large format. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Because, anyway, you know, we are um we're right there in large format we don't send it out we do it in house in house we just built a brand new facility roughly twenty thousand square feet to cover solely just for our large format uh the banners the window clings the you know the uh, so the if wall somebody clings. wants to order from you who do they need to call and how do they need to reach you? just call me my name's barry mealy m-e-l-e you can find me um on the website 
um, I'll tell you my number, 985 uh, 801. Exactly. 801-6119. And it all runs right to my cell. Some of it Okay, Andy's very entertaining. So all you got to do is call Barry and you'll have a good laugh and you'll get some good printing done. Yes. And we'll and we'll be right back. We're gonna right. be talking about breast cancer and mammography, and I'm gonna be quizzing K. And we're gonna be right back on Rocket Right and all then right. Stick New Church with Rouge Creole. All right, thank you. That was fun. Thank you. Is that fun? Yeah. My biggest concern was my family and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Ripe Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Ripe Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser from the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014. With a full calendar available on the website 24-7. Clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Cade Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you are interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Cade Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. Welcome back to Rock and Right. I am Bubbly Betsy Barnes. I am here with Dr. K. Solar, who is a very well seasoned OBGYN, and we're going to be talking about. That's why I'm wearing the glasses. I'm just that's saying. right, because she looks smarter with I'm the glasses. I'm so seasoned. On. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm over fifty. <laughs> that's right. We I start glasses, needing these to see things. <laughs> that's right, because we can't read without them. So. Mm, that's it. Um, as you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we are in great support of all women having a mammography. And so I see you brought some cookies, and uh, they kind of look like pumpkins, and I've noticed like a whole different set of billboards around town. That say about, save the pumpkins. Save the pumpkins. And they're pumpkins. not talking about those very expensive 
orange pumpkins because apparently did you know that real pumpkins they're hard to get this this year and they're more expensive but these are very expensive <laughs> and we want women to protect them you right want them to protect and the so breasty pumpkins yes yeah, so one of the campaigns if you see on bill, billboards it's save the pumpkins and so i know people might have looked at our display they might not have been able to see it really well but on the pumpkin platter there are two and these are from crumble cookie because my hairdresser keeps telling me that it's the best cookies ever and so i tasty. brought you a pumpkin one thank yeah. you it, it, it's like an entire cake and a cookie it really is you know it's big enough to be a cake and a cookie mm -hmm. it is you know one of the things that's so important is that women and men encourage each other to get cancer screening regular cancer screening and you know um we have all had people that are touched by breast cancer. We have people that um, we have loved that have been through quite a journey. Last week, we had um, bust out for breast cancer. We had Courtney Edwards, who had been diagnosed at 28 years old with no family history of cancer. And she survived that over 12 years. She is a beautiful, dynamic, amazing woman. Uh, my mother actually was diagnosed when I was 30 with breast cancer, and at the time she was 61. And so I was uh, living temporarily in another country and it just changed my ticket to stay three months longer. Found out that my mother had breast cancer, changed my ticket again and came back. And although I wasn't here for her surgery, I was here to take her to radiation. And later, 10 years later, uh, that cancer metastasized into lung cancer, and then four and a half years later, metastasized again. So we had a lot of extra time with my mom, but it started with a very small uh, lump that, that unfortunately, um, it was not detected a little bit sooner and we're thankful for all the people that took care of her through that time and my mom has been uh, now in heaven for almost 15 years and so breast cancer is always a very sensitive subject with me it's also mm -hmm. a very emotional subject I know so 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 many women who have battled and won and I've also known so many women who have inspired me who have uh, really reminded me to constantly get my mammogram and you diagnosing women for so many years generations actually almost 30 years in practice well i think that you know when when you talk about that when you look the statistics are pretty daunting and that one in eight women will develop an invasive breast cancer during their lifetime so that's 13 percent of women it, it, it sounds and like it doesn't even, just even affect more. the women it affects everyone who loves that woman everyone who knows that woman and so the most important thing is getting the diagnosis early and then getting the treatment and and the biggest thing is screening in october we see the pink billboards we see all of that it makes us think about uh, have you had your screening? And you know, a lot of people missed out on that during COVID. Yes. One, no one was going in to get any type of screening test. And then sometimes, you know, that year slipped by, but now everybody really needs to be looking at it and say, am I due for my mammogram? Have I had my mammogram? And sometimes that's confusing for women because they see different criteria. And you know, we had some guests on a few weeks ago and when you ask almost anybody, it's like, you should start screening for the general population that does not mean if you're at greater risk or family history because that might start sooner but for someone a woman in general the answer is at age 40 and that's, annually I think after too late. that i think Correct? that's too late i well, think that you should is, start at 25 and if you have any well there's reasons all. that that is that is not because mm -hmm. of of the numbers and of course you know when you have someone who's really young it's not necessarily that they need mammogram screening. And the reason it's not recommended at a really young age is because the breasts are very dense when you're young and it's very difficult uh, for those mammograms to, to pick up things. But statistically, you know, it's less likely for someone who's young. But someone like Courtney, it does happen. And a lot of times women just think, oh, I've had, if they're not doing breast self-exams, sometimes 
they don't recognize that lump. Or they ignore or they the lump. Or they, or they think it was a, a cyst or something like that. So the important thing for all women of every age is if you feel something different, and so there is a place for breast self-exam so that you know what your breasts normally feel like. And if you feel something different, then you go in and get that checked. You just don't assume that you're younger than it should happen to. But, but don't for mammograms... There, don't you think there used to be a bigger thing about self-breast exam and there's not as much Well, the reason is because you used to go to your doctor's office and you would like pick up the little thing and you go home and do it. And some of the literature said, oh, that makes women worry too much. There's That's ridiculous. nothing to that. And I still say so many women pick up their own lump and they come and get it checked. And especially in that age range when, when, when you normally wouldn't even, you know, be having mammogram screening because you want to find things. Mammograms are to find things before you would feel a lump. But yes, I truly believe that there's a place for breast self-exam uh, and to come and get that checked. There is also a place for a clinical breast exam by your physician every year. The mammogram does not displace that i mean no, that is you've very got to important have more than one your way of physician screen. may be able to feel something and that would need to be evaluated even if the woman had a negative mammogram but the answer is typically 40 and annually after that but there are some like the u.s preventive task force which tried to say you know start at 50 and every two years and so sometimes there's a disparity between sometimes a physician may tell a woman that her gynecologist typically isn't you know when you look at the societies like the American College of Radiology the Society of Breast Imaging um, they all recommend still 40 and after and, and and I thought about talking about this because I did have a, an article just this week in one of my medical journals that said uh, they surveyed like over 600 uh, screening centers and 90% of them recommended that you do 40 and annual after that. And, and part of that reason is, uh, why 40? Why not follow the U.S. Government Preventive Task Force recommendations, right, and stop at 50? Because 17% of all breast cancers are diagnosed in women in their 40s. So why would we want to not screen those women? Right. It's, it's crazy. Um, and so uh, I certainly believe that. I think most physicians will tell you 40 and annually. That's something certainly to discuss. But if you get any any differing information, you just think about those 17% who are in their be, 40s. But if, but if you are doing self-breast exam and you feel that you have fibroids or you feel lumps or you feel a density, why not take the next step and have your doctor exam That's and then it. go and then to the, the mammogram? Well, because right. it's not terrible. Well, your doc, it takes a few your minutes doctor and you're is, done. Yes, your doctor's going to like, you know, check that out. Then they're going to say, do you need an ultrasound? Do you need a mammogram? They're going to get that diagnostic test. Then you may need a biopsy to know, is it something that's benign or is it, yeah. is it cancerous? Because there's a lot of things that are, are benign. And Listen thank goodness we love gut. it when we tell people that it's something benign. Yes. But you always want to rule out breast cancers because the earliest they're detected, one, the best chance of survival that a woman has and so I think we want to really make sure that every woman is going to see their physician getting their annual checkup talking about are they a candidate you know for a mammogram and if so that they're up to date with their screening and then there's so many things and I know we talk about this a lot uh, and we you know we've mentioned it before but you know in addition to your screening the better you can take care of yourself. Yes. I mean, there is data that shows yes. if you exercise, if you eat healthy, if you maintain, don't smoke. A, if you don't smoke, if you maintain a normal uh, body mass index, your likelihood is less, not just for breast cancer, but for other cancers uh, as well. You know, it's it, one time my son and I were going to uh, New Orleans, and they had this campaign called Save the Tatas, and it was on a radio station in New Orleans, and I was shocked. He's like eight or nine years old, and I'm like, and he's like, Tatas, you know, he not heard the term. Right, right. And so it's I just really thought, a, and it was not really a medical term yeah, there. But. but it was kind of funny. But the thing is, is that it's not just women that need to be reminding and listening to their own little inner voice. It's also the men and the children and the families in your life that need to remind you, it's October, let's go ahead and, and scan. And the same thing, you know, 
conversely, for any type of cancer. And that's why there's all this fundraising for all these different organizations, right. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Women's Hospital, and all the other programs, because there's free screenings available. Absolutely. And, since and if you you're too scared to go, we'll come hold your hand. <laughs> okay, we'll hold your hand and encourage you or talk you through it on the phone and say, look, it's going to be 15 minutes. Just go ahead, do this, and then you don't have to worry about it for a year. That's right. That's right. What you do, you need to check, check on a regular basis to make sure nothing changes during that that's year. Right. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's all we have time for. Uh, and I've got lots more information, and she may quiz me another week or so. We might do that saying. again. And we're going to be right <laughs> back with Stick New Church. He is the general manager of Rouge Creole, and he's going to be talking about the new opening of Proverbial Wine Bar, part of City Group Hospitality. And we are looking forward to talking to Stick. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. Some call it joie de vie, the joy of life. In Louisiana, it's our way of life. From music that shakes up your senses to food that wakes up your palate. That joy vibrates in every note we play and spices up every meal we serve. So come live life to the fullest. Come one, come y'all, come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm Sean Ardway inviting you to plan your trip at louisianatravel.com. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kay Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you're interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kay Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. Visit one of our 21 state parks all over Louisiana. Let's go to the state park. There are 21 of them, you know. And state parks have biking and hiking, tubing, and we can even ride horses. Or we can go exploring and even swim by a beach. They have cabins, really nice ones, with long fishing piers. Don't forget to tell them about the discounts. Oh, yeah. Book three nights and we get the fourth night free. Great job. Thanks. Louisiana State Parks, we're ready for your adventure. I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time did I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there that this is place is cutting edge. Back with the Rocket Right Show, I'm Dr. Case Hallar in the house with Hurricane. Oh, 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 I 
said it wrong. Oh, no, it's bubbly. She's still bubbly. We're not saying that bad word anymore. She is bubbly Betsy Barnes. Because we're a little silly. Yes, yes. And uh, with our good friend Stick New Church, who is the general manager over at Rouge. But you're going to tell us about a new place. That's yes. Opening. Yes, we open uh, tonight actually. Proverbial Wine Bistro. I love it when it has the word wine in the middle yes, of it. it is, is that definitely. to entice people? Because if they just heard proverbial, they'd be like, "What's that?" But you put the wine in there. Oh, the wine. And bar. you got people like flocking. That's right. Right. That's right. Is that it? So we got uh, wines on tap. Plenty of glass options. Going to have an amazing bottle list. Uh, our in-house wine curator has done an amazing job putting together just a fantastic list that's going to go with some amazing food as well. So tell, tell us, I see you've got So an he's amazing bought, he brought an amazing board. charcuterie shareable board. That's right. So, so it's a shareable, not a charcuterie. <clears throat> so we're, that's right. We're doing shareable boards uh, as well as more tapas style snacks and then we'll and have some flat That is my favorite kind of thing. And yes. let me tell you, I went for the real men wear pink. Oh, my goodness. I know. I hate that so, you were somewhere that I wasn't, but I was on I an know. airplane. So. Tell, tell him what I had. Oh, sure. Because he says it's so much better. <laughs> That's right. So, I didn't have it all by myself. <laughs> I shared, but still. So she had the uh, scallops with romesco and uh, truffle aioli. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and also uh, meatballs with a, uh, and a pomodoro topped with some little uh, parmesan crisps and a little prosciutto. But they weren't regular meatballs. That's they right. Had, no. They had they're, like they're, two or three different It was meats. like lamb and pork meatballs. Oh, interesting. So good. And I'm sure it was it's a beautiful a presentation. My it yes. was. Oh, the scallops were delicious too, but scallops are what, like nine hundred dollars a dozen? Like <laughs> That's now. right. They're, they're really small. high. It's hard. It's one of those seafood <laughs> items hard to get. It is. You know, I think with uh, everything that we've done with City Group Hospitality, one thing that people are noticing, we open these beautiful locations. Yes. And Proverbio is no exception. This is an beautiful. amazing spot, and the f the the plating with the food it, it just matches the decor I mean yeah. it just fits into what we're doing in the well, direction so we're tell folks that are listening where it's located so yes. it is 9659 Antioch so in the corner of Antioch and Airline in uh, long form mm -hmm. right next door to Rouse's yes it's a stone easy stroke. to find intimate seating very very nice beautiful lighting beautiful decor but David Dickensage the chef who designed the menus was there, but you have a new executive chef there who the, was phenomenal in, in what he prepared and then also had, in addition to those other two things, shared the uh, the steak board. That's right. You, you had our uh, prime cut board. And there was nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. So I did, just as another common theme in some other restaurants, you know, proverbial, it's going to take you on a journey through the world, yes. both in wine and in food. So where all are we going to, like, taste so we're gonna have wines from all around the world food dishes from all around the world that they will pair with that's right absolutely um every we don't have to travel anywhere anymore no, i don't have to get you, on another airplane is that not. what you're telling that's me right. if you not that i go anywhere airplane. else in the world You'll i just stay in the states i'm just again. saying <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, we and we do span the globe. I mean, we have uh, one of our shareable boards, the Sands of Time board. It's okay. really going to take you through a journey through the Middle East. Of course, we have our Godfather board. That's more. Tell us about this aromatic, delicious smelling board yeah. right here. So we start off. Beautiful. With, see up front uh, is a braised pork loin topped with a little pesto. We have an mm -hmm. eggplant caponata, some charred asparagus, some braised artichokes. Uh, prosciutto. We're going to have fresh cheeses come with these boards. We're changing every day. We have a uh, burrata with a uh, truffle oil and some bacon lardon on top. And mm -hmm. um, see, we, we are missing the meatballs on that one. I must have uh, rushed out of the restaurant. Well, well it, it looks like there was so much well. on there I could see where you went. I just don't even anyway. know where I could have fit those meatballs. <laughs> you know what? We love it when you come talk foodie to us because that's our love language. That's right. And you know, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Chef David Dickensage, he does keep me on my toes because he uses words that we've never heard down the bayou. So I got I to expand my food vocabulary every time we open a new restaurant. <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool. you're going to be helping with the opening of other restaurants as well. We love Rouge. We love Rouge, and I love Proverbial. We love City Pork. So we're always, you know, between the different restaurants, between Kay and I, I would say we're one to two days, if not more, per week. 
because you just can't get a bad You keep opening them right. near my house. Is, that's the deal. That's, that's You're the, getting closer that's the and closer to my house <laughs> every time y'all open one. Next thing, so, you the, know. Ne- the next plan is to be in your backyard. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Savor the drive. I would be in bad trouble. <laughs> yeah. So, but you're talking about opening some of the other, there's a couple of other things That's you've right. got in the works, we do. and we, you're going to help with those. We do have Spoken Hub right around the corner, so um, on Government Street. Uh, I went and looked at the construction today. It's actually really starting to look like a restaurant. You can envision, see where this place can be. It's going to be super cool. Uh, one thing I'm excited about with that place is we're going to have a really cool in, it can be a private patio that we can do. You know, you can do corporate events out there. You can rent out the patio, Ooh. and you know, we're, we're we're close to that holiday season right now, where all of our restaurants were really utilizing a lot of our, our space that we have for events, and people mm-hmm. are call ringing the phones every day trying to get a party for the month of well, November and December. I know two busy blondes who didn't get to have their fifth or sixth anniversary of their show because of covid so we might need to do that i'm thinking we get we better might. get on the phone <laughs> yeah have a direct line to stick i think i might know somebody that's right <laughs> so when is hub and spoke going to be opening and what's going to be different about that compared to the others so that's going to be you know our take on americana so we want it to be more of that you know that homey family style cuisine we'll do breakfast there we'll have uh, we're really going to be focused on doing a lot of uh, different pancakes um, i love some pancakes you, know? you, do. you are a <laughs> breakfast eater there, you, uh, you know in mid-city there's a huge cyclist crowd and that's what you know that's going to be pretty cool you're going to be able to walk in there and if you have let's say you have an hour wait where you're going to see a course map for you can go ride your bike and mm-hmm. <laughs> you can be five ten twenty mile rides and oh, you make you can the work off those pancakes back. that's right yeah <laughs> That's awesome. I might have to get a bike. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be on the cruisers. <laughs> yeah, I know. We'll just go around the block three or four times, come back and eat. You get one of those, those pedicabs with somebody who will drive, drive you that's around. That's right. That's the that's <laughs> <my> <laughs> <thing. Yes. laughs> So what are we looking like the time-wise? We're, we- uh, right now we're looking at uh, probably late November, early December. Perfect. Okay. So, you know, cool. We're talking about great it, I think it's actually going to have three patios, so not just wow. that private one that I'm excited about. So it's going to be perfect for the you know the the winners that we never really get. And that <laughs> is right the winner we don't corner, get. It's a good sure. thing. Um, yeah. So, but tell people where it's located. Uh, it's going to be uh, almost directly across the street from Superior Grill mm-hmm. on Government. So the old Bistro Byron's location. Yeah. That's a great building. That's right, and uh, I, we know that they've done great things in that building for a long, long time, and they're moving down the street. And we're just going to try to, you know, keep doing what we do, and that's have great restaurants with great food, service, and drinks. Doing yeah. what you do well, <laughs> and 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 the the cool thing is that you have a little, you have a. A little different vibe at every place, and um, so, you know, I. How many are y'all up to now? It's a lot, but I think I can. I can, think I can eat it one every night of the week you and can not now. return. When, Sp- when Spoken <laughs> Hub opens, that will. Your be, husband's gonna wonder why you're not cooking. At least one night a week. And pretty soon you got to you gonna be able to do uh, got to start doing some lunches at one dinner at another to to capture them all. Well, yes, yes. Well, I, I don't know. I've like coined the, the <laughs> phrase "linner" and that, so I don't. I can beat everybody there. I just I do a late lunch and an early dinner, and I just. You know, Park I it. save all my calories for y'all <laughs> in one meal. That's what I do. I save all my fasting. calories. That, I, I'm <laughs> all about fasting. It, it is my intermittent <laughs> fasting. One meal a day. It's at one of y'all's places. I mean, it's a healthy thing. <laughs> That's right. Like, could we reserve a table maybe on a patio and just like have little meetings there? I think at some point we've got to put your names on something in these okay. buildings. You got you got enough frequent flyer miles in our uh, maybe we should have a dish. The <laughs> frequent right. y'all need yeah. a frequent flyer program. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, for sure. Sure. <laughs> so I love rouge. We love the round booths. I love the proverbial round. I guess it's kind of a lime green or short. I can't wait to go yeah. sit in one. Yeah. I saw you oh sitting in gosh. one. I was like, man, yes. that looks like my my that kind was of so spot. Fun. It I was so like good. the Kirby booth. As a matter of fact, our earlier guest Barry Meatley was with me. Mm-hmm. So we were there with y'all. Franz were having Bogart. a dinner meeting, right? Yeah, we were having a meeting. Actually, Whitney Higginbotham Green, who's been on our show before, she was with us, and we just enjoyed being there together it was just it was wonderful so tell us what you have going on about this wine dinner at Ruth. that's right so the first but look hold our seats where we talk that's about that's right it, the first thursday in november november 4th we're going to do a french wine dinner and 
first I, Thursday in November. First in November. Or November. 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 I'm See, good for November. Okay. I'm I know. good for November. I was thinking December. Yeah, so I know. We, it's I'm a good date. for November. I yeah. want to do something cool. So, uh, you know, our wine dinners that we've had, we like them to be a little bit more interactive and definitely educational. So we're going to have uh, Miss Lauren Attaway, who's one of the best young wine minds in the city. Um, she's going to help me pair some great fr- wines from different regions of France and we're going to educate our guests on about what they're drinking. Not just about the grapes but where they come from and why, what makes that grape different in that region compared to the same grape grown, grown in Napa Valley mm-hmm. or Australia or South Africa. So it's going to cool. be I'm excited for it. That sounds awesome. November 4th. Yes. And so I, I know I always um, see it on your social media when you co- when y'all come up with wine dinners. For course, Rouge you can, Creole. Yes. Well, all and, of them, and, all the restaurants. And, and we'll you list also those. can go to the your website usually and click on events and you'll have the wine dinner come up. And then normally when you go to buy your ticket, then it'll tell you what the menu uh, is. Exactly. So you can like have your mouth watering. I know one of my sons said, Mom, how do you find out about all these cool wine dinners? I think if you go to one, it starts showing up in your social media feed constantly. So... Like, or your email that's box. That's how I know. So I keep t- I take the picture of it, send it to him. So, yeah. <laughs> and for brunch, I really love going either to Rouge Creole or to City Pork over there by Highland and um, Perkins. Beausoleil right has a Bayou. great brunch, too. Oh, Beausoleil I mean, has I mean, a great you, brunch. I mean, y'all, y'all do great brunches everywhere. I mean, really. Yeah. You know, and, and the fact that you can get them on Saturday yes. and not just Sunday. <laughs> not just Sunday. I mean, I yes. love that. That's I a like, hidden secret. It is. You can beat the crowd on Saturday. Well, That's there's right. not a lot of places that do brunch on Saturday. There's really not. So, except y'all's places. That's right. And there's a bunch of those now. That's right. <laughs> I think that really there's something for everybody and kind of every budget, every price point, every occasion. But you really got to jump in on those events because they do sell out. Yeah. So let's go back to proverbial for a second. Yeah. Is there a favorite thing on the menu or a wine of your pick since you're normally my wine picker well right now uh, that would be called sommelier sommelier i like wine <laughs> yeah i was gonna say the formal name <laughs> i'm saying my favorite thing on the menu is to be shocking because i never bring dessert here is our happy ending board so that board in itself really does kind of circle the glo- globe with uh, creme, br- creme brulee, tiramisu. We're doing a, a house-made baklava. And that's on a wow. board? A chocolate lava cake. It sounds I mean, like you could definitely... Uh, uh, I might have to intermittent fast for two days before we're going <laughs> to have that board. I'm going to be like loaded with the, the, the sugar. Well, we're going to so. share all these events on our Facebook page for Rocket Ride Entertainment. Yep. And and we just love that you come and talk foodie to us. And we just need some forks for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thank I've you for you coming. Don't need a Stick fork. New Church General Manager of Rouge Creole and, and more. <laughs> and just remember, if you're going to rock it, make, make sure you rock it right. right. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Rocket Ride right with Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is brought to you by these generous sponsors. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge and beyond. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, Advantage Health Solutions with Dr. Boyd Michael Helm, High Tower Dental Concepts with Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality, including City Pork Brasserie and Bar, City Pork Catering, City Slice, City Taco, Rouge Creole, and Beau Soile. Talent 360 Consulting with Vicki Little. 
Jeff Taylor, realtor and forester with Whitetail Properties. The Third Street Songwriters Festival. Elite Chiropractic with Dr. Ron McMorris. LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one. Thank you for making our show possible.